All right, guys, for our read together, we're going to read the book called The Icky Bug. And it's going to have an insect or a bug for every letter of the alphabet. So listen for the alphabet, the sounds of each letter, okay? The beginning sounds. So A is for ant. Ants are hard workers. And ants are able to carry things that are larger and heavier than they are. They always seem to be trying to build something. A for ant. B is for bumblebee. Because bumblebees are furry, they are able to stay outside in cooler weather longer than other types of bees. Bumblebees fly from flower to flower, collecting nectar to make honey. C is for cricket. The cricket likes to hide under things. It makes noise by rubbing its wings together. Isn't it fun to listen to lots of crickets at night? Sometimes if you sleep with your windows open, you might hear the crickets. D is for dragonfly. A dragonfly has four wings. When dragonflies stop flying and take a rest, they are unable to fold their wings back. E is for earwig. No one seems to know how the earwig got its name. It does not crawl into people's ears. It has a pincher at the tail end of its body. That's kind of a weird insect. F is for firefly. Fireflies shine like light bulbs in the dark. When they light up, they can find each other more easily. Fireflies are easy to catch because they fly slowly. G is for grasshopper. Grasshoppers can jump really well. If you try to catch one, it will usually jump away just as you are about to touch it. H is for horsefly. The green-headed horsefly has pretty eyes, but it has a terrible bite. If one of them lands on you, be careful. I is for eel moth. The eel moth has two spots on its lower wings that look like eyes. When birds go near these moths and see the spots, they become startled and fly away. Cool. J is for Japanese beetle. These beetles love to eat flowers. Sometimes they eat so much that they cause lots of damage to the planes. K is for katydids. Katydids, like crickets, make noise by rubbing their wings together. The noise they make sounds like their name. Sometimes they say, Katie didn't. Maybe that's kind of silly. L is for ladybug. This insect is really called a ladybird beetle. They are so round, it is hard to believe that they can fly, but they can. M is for monarch butterfly. Monarchs are known for migrating. They fly from Canada all the way to Mexico. Birds know that monarchs taste awful, so they will never go near them. That's pretty interesting. N is for noceums. Noceums is a word for tiny insects that are almost impossible to see. They are flies that are really called midges. They can make people miserable because they bite. O is for orb weaver. Spiders that make round orb-shaped webs are called orb weavers. Many people are frightened by spiders, but most of them will not hurt you. P is for praying mantis. It is called a praying mantis because it looks like it is kneeling and praying. Gardeners and farmers like this insect because it eats pesty bugs that are harmful to vegetables and other plants. Q is for queen bee. In a beehive, there is only one queen bee. She can lay thousands of eggs per day. The other bees take very good care of her like the mama. R is for red admiral. This butterfly is not bright red like an apple or a cherry. It is a rusty orange color. Red admirals are very difficult to catch because they zigzag and fly very fast. S is for scorpion. A scorpion is really scary looking. It has a stinger at the end of its tail and it has two front pinchers just like a lobster. Would you like to be stung by a scorpion? Not me. T is for tarantula. Tarantulas are big, furry spiders. They can grow to be as large as your hand. Tarantulas and scorpions are found in warm climates. U is for unfinished painting. On this page, the illustrator forgot to finish painting the picture. It looks like some kind of V or something. Oh, here it is. U is for unicorn beetle. Okay, that's better. The illustrator has finished the painting. The unicorn beetle has a single horn sticking out of its head. V 
is for velvet mite. These creatures are red and so small that you can hardly see them. About 30 of them could fit on the fingernail on your thumb. Wow. W is for water spider. These spiders make their home underwater. They weave a special web that allows them to bring air below the surface of the water. They catch and eat things that swim or float nearby. X is for the marking on the back of this bug. We could not find a bug whose name began with letter X, so this bug is called a cotton stainer. And as you can see, it looks like there's an X on its back. Y is for yellow paint bug. This bug is very easy to see because of its bright color. It has six legs, just like all other insects. And finally, Z is for zebra butterfly. Zillions of them flying all at once is a beautiful sight. All right, very cool. So that's a lot of different insects and bugs for every letter of the alphabet. Very cool. All right, guys, hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later.